For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do these two problems at the same time. The first one says determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force and sketch this vector on the coordinate system. And the second one says specify the coordinate directions angles of F1 and F2 and express each force as a Cartesian vector. So this is what I like to do in this kind of problems. So what you want to do is you want to break down each of the forces into the Cartesian vectors and that'll make it easier to add. Let me show you. So F of 1. Okay, actually let's do it this way because we don't got um what you want to do is first you want to find this vector right here which we will call it the projection of f of 1 into the x c axis so let me put f of 1 x y axis axis uh, i'm sorry x y plane so that projection is equal to f1 cosine of 30 which is equal to 69.3 now to find this angle this vector right here which is the x component of f of 1 let's say f of 1 of x is equal to the projection times the cosine of 40 which is equal to 53.1 so this is, let me put it down here, f of 1, 53.1 in the positive i direction. Now to find this, which is the y component of the force, you do the projection, x, y, times the sine of 40, which is equal to 44.5. So let me put it here. Negative because it's going towards a negative y. 44.5 in the j direction. Now to find the c component, which is this vector right here, we're going to do the sine of 30 of the whole force. So f of 1 of c, and this is f of 1 of y. f of 1 of c is equal to f of 1, not the projection, but the actual force times the sine of 30 degrees and that would equal 40 so it's positive 40 in the k vector direction and we can see that f of 2 is 0 on the x not going anywhere negative 130 j on the y it's going Actually, I messed this up. Sorry. Is 0 on the y. It's not going anywhere. But it's negative 130k on the z axis. So to find the resultant force, you just add them. The resultant force is 53.1 in the i minus 44.5 in the j plus 40 in the k all right now that we have the uh, resultant force determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angle so this for the resultant force what we need to find now is the magnitude to find the magnitude we do the square root of the x square y square and c component square which is this one this one and this one you plug them into here and you're gonna get that the magnitude of f of r is gonna be equal 113.6 now the direction angles which are these three angles the first one is the one that it forms with the x-axis the second one the y the last one the c so to find the angles what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the cosine inverse of 
dx component over f of r cosine inverse of dy component over f of r and cosine inverse of the c component over f of r and the direction angle should give you 62.13 113.1 and 142.4 degrees 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 don't forget if the number is negative put the negative sign otherwise you're gonna get the wrong angle so this is for the resultant force and let's actually see if we can sketch it more or less over here it's not gonna be exact you're gonna need to get some graph paper to make a good job out of this but just looking at the right here resultant force that they want us to sketch you will see is 53 so it will be here negative 44 will be here and actually I made a, I made a small mistake over here sorry because positive 40 minus 130 is negative 90. All right, again, 53, negative 44, and negative 90 will be somewhere down there. You will be aiming down in 3D. <clears throat> now that uh, we got all these numbers, we're going to do the direction angles of F1 F, F, and F2 the direction angles of F1 you calculate it in the same way you do this three now to correct this um, I mean to do this you do the cosine number of X over F1 cosine number of Y over F1 and cosine numbers of C over F1 and you get the angles 48.41, 123.8, and 60 degrees. Now f of 2, to calculate the angles, you do the exact same thing. Don't forget your signs, and you're going to get 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and 180 degrees for the angle at f of 2. Final answer over here, final answer over here, and I apologize for this mistake I made earlier on the video.